I think of the Raiders and the Vikings playing each other. I think of the greatness of the Raiders. The Raiders, when they won the Super Bowl, when they beat the Minnesota Vikings, just great quarterback play. And of course, Willie Brown with one of the most famous interceptions in football history. I think of... How do you only score three points in today's NFL game? What the fuck? The Raiders lost to Minnesota, three nothing. Not the Minnesota Twins. Football, a football score of three to nothing. And no, it wasn't raining. It wasn't snowing. It wasn't, it wasn't increment weather. They played in a dome and two teams combined for three points. And the three points didn't even come until the last two minutes of the game. This game was horrible. This was the worst football game I've ever seen. The quarterbacks were just terrible. It's not, it's not, it wasn't even great defense. They're awful. Two awful quarterbacks. Well, I'm sorry, three awful quarterbacks because it got so bad that the Vikings brought in Mullins to come into the game and he actually got him in field goal range. Raiders actually did have an opportunity where they got in the field goal range and Hunter Renfro, Hunter Renfro fumbled. Hunter Renfro looks scared out there. Ever since he signed for that big money, he's out there looking scared. He catches the ball and he's looking around like somebody's gonna hit me and I'm gonna lose the ball. He ain't been right since he signed that money. But then again, there was a couple years ago when he got hit hard and he ain't looked the same since. Hunter Renfro out there playing scared. You can't play football out there being scared, but you can't put this all on Hunter Renfro. You have Devontae Adams out there and you couldn't score. I really expected a lot of good things to happen. The Raiders had just come off of their bye week, had a chance to get a little extra reps and practice in, thinking Aiden O'Connell, he's gonna be more in sync with the receivers and the offense, and it's expected all these things to happen. Didn't happen, you guys. Got shut out. Instead of progress, it was regress. There were only two bright spots today. This hit on Justin Jefferson, that was beautiful, was it? Kind of reminded me of something that happened way back in the day. Remember the Sammy White hit? Justin Jefferson looked like Sammy White. But uh, statistically, Josh Jacobs, 13 carries for 34 yards, and Aiden O'Connell, look at that. He really didn't uh, light up the scoreboard there. So Aiden, what are your goals? What's next? I mean, you're losing a whole bunch of games. Tell us, what's your goals? Yeah, I think um, it's just a one game season every week. You know, I think the opponents are difficult every week. It's the NFL. And so, especially now this, this next week, we have a short week. We gotta kind of turn the page pretty quickly and, and move on to um, play against the Chargers on Thursday night. So I think just taking one game at a time, um, not biting off more than we can chew, but taking it one at a time. Uh, okay, Aiden, fair enough. But uh, next question. You had a bye week. You're coming out of the bye week, and you guys look like dog shit. What happened? Um, you know, I think I don't, I don't know if it was anything to do. I think it was just lack of execution. Um, and I, I think, you know, they're a really good defense, too, a really good defensive coordinator. And so um, they made it difficult for us to, you know, just do our normal stuff. And so, you know, kudos to them for playing a good game. Okay, Aiden. Well, you know, we've been hearing this bullshit for weeks. We've heard this in the past with Derek Dallas Carr. Uh, I just want to know, do you think you're the right guy to lead this Raiders organization? Are you the one that we can depend on? Are you the one that we can depend on in the future that can take the Raiders where they need to be, that can bring the Raiders a Super Bowl? You know, I think, you know, I have confidence in myself um, to execute and to, to do my job properly. I, I haven't done it good enough, and so uh, um, I got to be better at doing that. But I, I still have full confidence in myself to do this. I'm learning every week what it takes and um, working extremely hard to try to get a, put a good product on the field. I'm, I'm not doing it right now, so I got to do better. Aiden, you had two weeks to prepare for this team. Did they do something that you've never seen before? I mean, what exactly did they do? Um, you know, they do a lot of different things. And so um, they do a good job of Rolodexing it on early downs and third down. And so, like I said, they, they make life difficult to operate in a normal fashion, um, different personnel, different fronts, different blitzes, different coverages. And so, um, you know, it, it took, it, it would have taken a lot better execution for us to, to be successful. And again, I, I put that on myself.
The only other highlight of the day was watching the Kansas City Swifties get their asses whooped. But Patrick Mahomes, look at this classless bum going after the referee. He should be suspended for this. He should be fined for doing this. Look at this. Look at this behavior on this guy. It's just He's out of hand. The guy starts crying and winding. Now, you guys, we were able to put our microphones in and we're able to get the audio here. We're going to turn up the audio. And here is what Patrick Mahomes was saying.